Hi, this is uh, Johnny. Hello. And Olive. And this is a Jubilee Rallyman for sale for £500. There's a little bit of damp, which I'll show you in a minute inside, because these um, joins have lost their sealant and I was a bit slack and I didn't replace it. But you need to get up there and put some sealant in on both sides. Somehow there's a bit of water got in the top of this window in between the panes, which uh, you'll see in a minute. Uh, the front of this is just screwed in because it's uh, you know too rusty inside so it doesn't work the way it used to it's a project um, you might like it to be dirty but i haven't finished cleaning it yet so i am planning to clean all of it it's clean inside uh, if you want it to be a torah you probably need um, new tires because it's basically it's just been outside for 10 years um, the jockey wheel's fine I guess the brakes will need some attention. Uh, it's dry apart from those two, three places that I showed you. You've got all the original fixtures and fittings, cooker. Um, I don't know, I haven't really, the sink does drain out. We haven't used it very much. I don't know if the water heater works. The fridge, I, I haven't got to work, but I haven't cleaned out the flue or um, the gas jet for when you start it, which, uh, it's possible by taking the fridge out and fridges themselves can be 300 pound um it's all cleaned out but up to a point it's not super clean you could do with another clean a little bit of wear and tear it's had lots of love i've got one more of these cushions which i'm going to bring up um that is a table which uh, can be replaced by the small up uh, down she knows she's not allowed up there uh, i even put the curtains through the washing machine um and uh, you'll see here where the damp is so it's not great you know but it's fairly superficial so you could actually once it's dry you could do a paint job on it or you might want to do something bigger uh, you can see in this corner is where the water which is since i moved it it's gone over to this side bit manky dead flies rainwater was over this side excuse me somehow it was coming down into here um you've got as well as the table you've got all this brilliant cupboard space sorry about the crashing and the banging and stuff you've got all this space underneath um so belly boxes and so on and here you see that this just needs to go back to its original place with some different screws maybe a bit of wood there to reinforce it but that becomes a little table like that more excitingly than that Right, Olive, see if you can keep them interested while I pull the bed out. Um, we've got this bed, which um, basically, once you've got it in the right position, bear with, it basically just pulls, pulls out like this. Excuse me. which you, you know, it's much less cat-handed if you've got both of your hands. Anyway, excuse me, Olive, it comes all the way out to there and it makes a bed. Okay, you've got a heater which works and we had it on with a carbon monoxide alarm uh, a couple of times and, you know, overnight, whatever, during the day, and it seems to be fine. You've got a wardrobe. <sighs> Sorry about the crashing and the banging, little cupboard space in there. More drawers, more cupboards. Uh, the electrics actually work, um, the cooker works, and this is probably the least exciting, least nice part, is the old bathroom, which we had a compost toilet in, so we just took that panel off the front there. Um, but, you know, that's broken, so if you wanted to turn it back into a bathroom, you get a new floor, uh, but you might want to turn it into wardrobe or something like that. Uh, I think that is probably it apart from yeah a little panorama of my shed right so um 500 pounds oh yeah now there is something else which is this window um is sort of bolted on because it had snapped off when i bought it uh it doesn't actually let water in but it's basically it's got this bit of old foam in between there and there but there's no there's no significant water gets in and when it does it just drips down through the uh Behind the, behind the window here. 
but it's got no, the struts are broken. Um, you probably need a new handbrake. Um, you know, bit of new sealant around. And uh, up here, this has got uh, been bashed a little bit and it looks really bad, but it's, I've never seen any damage from it. Uh, but you know, you could bung a bit of sealant in there. That, I, that's been like that for 10 years since I bought it myself. Um, so I think uh, it's probably a project if you want to tour with it, or it's just a really brilliant place. You know, loads of hours of fun have been had. Uh, the kids drawing and playing and doing board games and people sleeping if you need an extra space somewhere to get away uh, let me know if you want to buy it uh, it's uh, near Lyme Regis but and it can tow but like I say I think you probably would if you're going to tow it a long way just keep an eye on the on the tires right then bye